came to know recently, the Quran mentions 1400 years ago. When I was in school, I had learned that the sun, in respect to the earth, it was stationary. The earth and the moon, they rotated about the axis, but the sun was stationary. But when I read a verse of the Quran saying, in Surah Ambiya, chapter 21, verse number 33, it says, it is Allah who has created the night and the day. Washams our kamar, the sun and the moon. Kullun bahun, each one traveling in orbit with its own motion. Now, Alhamdulillah, modern science has confirmed the Quranic statement. The Arabic word used in the Quran is yasbahun, which describes the motion of a moving body. When it refers to a celestial body, it is the expanding universe. So, Quran says the sun and the moon they revolve as well as rotate about their own axis. Today we have come to know that the sun takes approximately 25 days to complete one rotation. It was Good morning ladies and gentlemen. When I was in school I was taught that the sun was stationary while earth is revolving around the sun and uh, then I read in Quran and the Quran says that the uh, sun is also revolving and uh, orbiting in its own orbit. And uh, now modern science actually confirms Quran. Jackie and I told us a very pretty impressive story. Well, we need to see other portions of Quran also in order to uh, understand what exactly Quran has to say about the sun and the solar system. You see, Jackie and I said that Ashbahun means moving in an orbit, really. But if you read the translations of Quran, you will understand that Esbahun actually means swimming. That's, you see, the, let me quote some uh, translations of Quran of this particular verse. Pictal says, they float each in an orbit. Yusuf Ali in his translation says, swim along each in its rounded course. And Hilali Khan in his translation wrote, each in an orbit floating. Sher Ali in his translation wrote, each gliding along smoothly in its orbit. Arbor in his translation, he wrote that, each swimming in a sky. So, sun is swimming in its sky. That was actually Quran said. But Jakir Naik is telling us that uh, sun is rotating and uh, moving in its orbit. But it's not the case it is. In fact, if you read Surah 18, it says very clearly, let me quote Surah 18, Ayah 86, till when he, the traveler Zulkarnain, reached the setting place of the sun, he found it going down into a muddy spring. You see, Quran is very clear. When the Zulkarnain went into that place, he saw the setting place of the sun, and the sun is setting into what? Into a muddy spring. And uh, Surah 18, Ayah 90 says, Till when he reached the rising place of the sun, he found it rising on a people for whom we had appointed no shelter from it. So what so, uh, Quran, um, Quran actually taught about the uh, sun is very clear. The sun sets into a spring, a muddy spring. And this is very clear from our other translator also. Shakir translated this ayah like this. Let me quote, until when he reached the place where the sun set, he found it going down into a black sea. So sun is setting into black sea, according to Shakir. Yusuf Ali translation says this, until when he reached the setting of the sun, he found it set in a spring of murky water. <laughs> sun is setting into murky water, according to Surah 18. And... Uh, uh, the famous Islamic uh, commentator Al Tabari actually confirmed this. Let me read you from Al Tabari's commentary. When the Almighty says, until he reached his addressing Jalkarnain concerning the verse, the place of the setting of the sun, he found it set in a spring of murky water. The people differed on how to pronounce that verse. Some of the people of Madina and Basra read it as Hamja spring, meaning that the sun set in a spring that contains mud. So according to the great commentator Tabari also, the sun sets into a spring of mud. 
folks we need to look into other passages also to understand what exactly even muhammad said let us see what actually muhammad said now i am going to quote from hadith the second most sacred source of islamic teachings after quran in hadith sahih bukhari volume 4 book 54 chapter 4 number 441 page 283 i will quote quotation starts narrated abu dar the prophet asked me at sunset do you know where the sun goes at the time of sunset i replied allah and his apostle know better he said it goes till it prostrates itself underneath the throne and takes the permission to rise again and it is permitted and then a time will come when it will be about to prostrate itself and its prostration will not be accepted you see Some, someone went to muhammad and asked him prophet what happens to sun what does he do in the night and the prophet said in the night it goes and sits below the throne of allah and prostrates to allah and the next morning it asks allah for permission to come back to earth and light it so what muhammad actually understood about the sun is uh, clearly written in uh, hadith so let us not play science games into verses of quran concludingly uh, um, conclusively ladies and gentlemen quran teaches that uh, the sun is f- swimming in the sky and in the evening it uh, sets in a muddy spring and from there it goes under the throne of allah and it prostrates there and tomorrow morning it asks the permission from allah to come back to the earth and uh, these are the things and uh, so quran has very unscientific information about the sun and um, even scientific information in the quran does not prove it is from god because so many scientific truths about the sun have been uh, had been discovered even before prophet muhammad in fact 3 centuries before christ eratosthenes he calculated the distance of sun from the earth eratosthenes the greek mathematician and even ancient greeks and uh, even uh, here in india lot of people believed that uh, sun is at the center but uh, muhammad even could not get that uh, scientific information that existing prevalent uh, scientific information into quran so uh, it clearly shows that uh, quran is not in its uh, context of uh, a scientific uh, learning and the other thing we need to learn is uh, so many scientific truths about the sun have been found by christian scientists copernicus galileo william herschel isaac newton lord kelvin and uh, 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 even helmut hahn these people folks they were christians and uh, they explored the sun and uh, they gave us uh, so many scientific truths so uh, Quran is uh, uh, is very much out of shape with uh, scientific facts folks and uh, we need to remember this because in fact uh, if you look around the world the more uh, islamic a country is the less advanced it is in the fields of uh, science and technology on the other hand uh, the countries that developed in uh, judeo christian tradition are uh, foremost grounds for the Uh, advances in uh, science and technology and uh, we shall not forget this folks and your comments are welcome on the blog thank you